Like eventually someone will run it. So let's let's take a gamble on it now. Because syempre, kami naman ang decide where um we're we're uh we're part of the company, the owners, we can like para we can make these quick decisions. We decided last minute actually uh, for us it was a really good decision looking back. Kahit may mga bashers, we opened a totally new market for ourselves. Uh, so this year we saw that, that because of the Sasa Girl calendar, more people are talking about it. And we said let's use our calendar now as really um like a like a platform to raise certain issues. And like because we wanted to go back to, to women naman, this is one of the issues that really plagues women. Like um um yung body dysmorphia, mm -hmm. uh, those kinds of things. So um yeah we um when like when Rio was presented to us, we saw it as a really golden opportunity to bring this issue to light. Mm -hmm. And um hopefully people accept it as well as they have the last few calendars we did too. Alright, congratulations. Um, well, my last question is for Ria. And first of all, congratulations, dear. I'm very, very happy. Uh, actually, just seeing you earlier uh, this morning, so we go, wow, she's it. She's the, she's really the perfect, you know, uh, personification of like sexy, for 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 whatever reason. Uh, now, Ria, have 2022, uh, 2022 been like exactly your year? Kasi hindi naman sa pagbamayaba. Your businesses have been flourishing, uh, your production company also, um, and love life-wise. Medyo maganda ang nilalakad ng career mo din. Um, what's next for Ria this 2023? I mean, you know me naman, thank you first of all, but you know me naman, I kind of just take what's given to me. And you know, 2022 was really like a mix of everything. It was good, it was bad, it had its highs but the, and lows, but the highs were really high. And I'm very grateful for the year that that was. But yeah, like you said, I'm, there's still so much to look forward to this year. Yeah. Like a lot. And I'm very excited. And this is the great, like a great way to start my year with a bang. Galeng. Alright. Thank you, universe. <laughs> Yeah, no, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from Kate Adahar of Random Republica and then Janice Navida of Bulgar. So I'm passing the mic to Kate and then Janice. Thank you. Congratulations, Ria. We know kung gaano ka close to your parents. Did you have to consult them? And did you also consult your partner? Super. Um, actually, this bit, when this was pitched to us also, my parents were also present. So no need, they were there by chance. Um, generally, naman kasi they're very supportive and they kind of just let me do what I think I should be doing. Yung parang inahayaan na nila ako to decide. So everybody's just been supportive. There were no like qualms or no, there was no discussion anymore. It was like, okay, good luck, congratulations. Ganun lang. And does this mean you're willing to, you're ready to take on more mature roles in terms of your activity? Well, I feel like I'm 30, so I should be, ideally naman. I mean, um, that's really, I mean, if it comes to me, then game. But if it doesn't, then no need naman. Like I said, this is just showing that you can be wholesome and sexy at the same time. Thank you, Kate. Hi, Ria. Chris, congratulations. No? Talagang ginulat mo kami. Ako din, nagulat din po ako. Huwag po kayong magalala. <laughs> Pero, paalam ko na lang sa tanong ni Kate kasi parang hindi mo nasagot na what's your um, boyfriend's reaction ba <laughs> on your, uh, on the new chapter of your life? <laughs> Trust ko siya mamaya siya na lang tanongin niya. Char, uh, supportive naman po. He's been very supportive throughout this whole thing. Okay. So, walang issue na ngayon ay siyempre calendar girl ka, marami nang magpapanta siya sa'yo. Wow! <laughs> I think more than being fantasized about naman, the whole point of this calendar again is to advocate for issues at hand. And right now, body dysmorphia is such a thing with social media. And I think like, if that's the message we're getting across, okay na ka mm -hmm. And does this mean ba, Ria, na you're going sexy na, na rin, movie-wise, yung sa pagtanggap mo ng mga projects like may expect may expect na ba namin magpi-diva max ka na rin? Okay. I I'm trying to star magic po. <laughs> I'm star magic po. Um by the way po again like I said earlier if the role comes and it's something that's 
parang that excites me or something that keeps me curious until after this. Then maybe, but if it doesn't, then, then not necessarily. And last question ko na lang, since parang late bloomer ka na niya, sabi mo you're 30 na, tapos ngayon palang dumarating sa'yo mga ganitong opportunities, uh, ibig bang sabihin, parang mas focus ka pa rin sa career ngayon, or you're ready na for another, uh, or settling down this year, kung sakasakali? Parang wait lang, things are still going so well in my career. There's a lot of things that are gonna come out this year. I have a lot of things to look forward to. If that's what's what the universe will allow for me to get. But right now, I'm enjoying how my career is going. And I think my timeline just goes to show that you don't have to stick to a certain timeline that people dictate or people say you should have. Like, just because I'm 30 and it's only now I'm having these opportunities, it doesn't mean that um, other people can't also. You know, like, if it happened for me now, it can happen for anybody also. You know? Thank you, Ria. Thank you that you would be doing this and then what did you change with your did your diet or workout um, to prepare for this? At first I was in disbelief like really talaga ba? Like I was so touched also you know like again the big girls don't usually get to do the chance to do something like this and here we are. Um, in terms of change in diet not really because I think the whole campaign revolves around body positivity and I think it would be a bit hypocritical to do something like this and advocate for something like that if you alter anything in there because it's about embracing uh, your body flaws and all. And then after this pictorial, you finished it, you're gorgeous and everything worked out. Um, what realization did you have or did it change anything with how you saw yourself or I mean, definitely. I never thought yeah, that I'd see myself as a calendar girl, but here I am. And um, if anything, what changed? Kaya ko pala. Kaya ko pala yun ito. I mean, I did a birthday shoot, but I feel like that's more for personal consumption type of thing. And for something like this that's blasted out so publicly, kaya pala. I feel like it reinstilled confidence in myself also. Thank you, thank you, Manila. Mr. Jeman Villanueva of Orange Magazine. May question siya sa mga boss natin from White Castle, from Distilleria Limpuato. Hello po. Oh, congratulations. Um, question na lang is, paano yung naging process ng pagpili kay Ria? And bakit uh, nag-equipan niya na this time may feature yung body positivity? Thank you very much. So, Diba, as you, uh, I think as you've noticed in the last few years, diba, we've tried also to work with other calendar talents. No? So we had like Ninong Rai and then we had Sasa Girl. So we thought, you know, uh, really to embrace the concept of diversity in beauty, inclusivity. So this time we said we should get a lady naman, back na naman kami to our White Castle Girl. No? Kasi we had two males, diba? So now we wanted a female and uh, uh, it so happened that uh, we were also looking for a concept and see Chuk also approached us and when we saw the picture of Ria, it's like, uh, diba? What's there to decide? Thank you! So, like I'm also a big girl, I appreciate to be to the Ria, diba? So, I think that uh, she really represents um, a lot of us, no? and I think as uh, I'm always a believer that if a person is confident, about the person is beautiful, and uh, I think we would like to encourage more people not to be so obsessed with size, being thin, but concentrate on what we're good at, you know, and what we we can uh, contribute to to our country, to our families, you know, to our jobs, because that is really what makes a difference in one's life, no? So it's more than, as I say, yeah, it's not just uh, beauty is really what's inside and outside. For as long as we take good care of ourselves, di ba? And there's no one who can't be beautiful, no? So I really, really am happy that we have somebody like Maria to represent the brand. And uh, for all the people that helped us put this together, that's si Chuk, no? so we're very happy, and his team. So we're uh, so thankful. And we're also thankful for all your support. Because without you, the bad then this campaign also is not going to be successful. So thank you very much, everyone.
Thank you, Ma'am Olive. Maraming salamat po. Our next question is from uh, John Bueno of Pumagkao. John? Hello, good afternoon. Um, well, my first question is for Ms. Olive. Um, obviously, uh, you've done remarkably well with the last campaign with Sasha. Um, how has been the reception with that overall? Can you tell us a story uh, about that and why you, you decided to continue with this one with regards to body positivity? So, uh, for the Sasa Girl campaign, yes. I will turn you over to Brandon. This yes. is Brandon, who uh, wow. is the person behind the Sasa Girl campaign. Mm. Uh, so, we decided last year to do it. No, end of 2020, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of 2021, we decided to do an online search for the next White Castle Girl. And so, we opened it to the public. Uh, and last minute, Sasa Girl joined. And the, the, the voting was based on impressions and like uh, comments, likes. So we didn't expect it. That wasn't our initial in intention. So it was, it was decided by the public. And we, we took a gamble on it. Yes. Because Shepherd, we 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 knew that there there were gonna be a lot of uh, negative reactions from like 